All right, starting out on that defense, baby. Another game, episode 255. Welcome to the Subscriber Dynasty. Let's see what my guys could do. Starting off great already. Mixing it up like crazy today. Got zones, blitzes, mans, zone blitzes, man blitzes. It don't, it don't even matter. We're just running everything today. Oh, I was there. I was just too far back. Dead gimmick. See what he does. Stop route, yeah. When it's bump and run, stop route all day. I'm, I'm learning that like crazy, man. Everybody does that. Oh, spreading me out. Look at that. What kind of funky, funky nonsense was that? Chamomile just got spanned out of his shoes. Dead gum. That was to the best of him. Oh, he didn't go outside. He stayed inside. Good read there, buddy. Good read. Watch out for them scrambles. Like that. Oh, that away. Good play, guys. Good play. What? Or you can get up and make too many adjustments. Oh, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, Davis, break it. Go, go, double D's, go. Go, double D's, go. You the man, man. Go, double D's, go. Get that block, dude. Go, big, big play. Yes, sir. Broke a couple of tackles in the backfield for a touchdown. Scamper, longest run of the season. That away, baby. Back on that defense, man. That was, that was nice. Two plays. <laughs> a pass play didn't work out so well. Then a run play where we broke every tackle that we needed to break. To get to the end zone? I mean, I'm, I'm definitely in love with that. Yes, sir. Go, Bran. Yeah, I would have thrown it to Y. He threw it to the other guy who burned my dude bad deep downfield. Two broken tackles, touchdown. I guess we each get one. Holy crap. Man, that was not the type of series we needed. <laughs> Two drops by pretty clutch receivers on my guy's side and just did not work out well. A couple more broken tackles. What was that? Three broken tackles and the dude pretty much tackles my own guy 15 you better dive at him wow dude home field advantage for everybody else but me that's downright crazy dude gosh nothing like having the back tackled in the backfield twice and or stopped in the backfield twice the dude breaks it and takes it to the house that sucks dude golly does that suck very, very much, very bad. Gotcha. Jordan going the distance. It's going to be a high scoring affair, man. Golly. That's crazy. Just broken tackles everywhere, both sides of the field. Well, let's see if we can't give up a humongous play again. <laughs> well, that seems to be about what we're, what we're up against right now. Brown, broken tackle. Broken tackles again. Holy jeez. All right, can we get to stop here, guys? First and ten. Now he's scrambling. Got B deep. Oh, throw it right. He hit you in the freaking hand, son. That's two drops you got. Get this stop right here. Fourth and six. Let's go. He's gonna try and scramble. Dang, the whole side of the field. That whole side of the field wide open. That's brutal and a half. He's got 139 yards passing, and old Fox has got like all of it. Every single last bit of it. Zeesh, man. Broken tackles and broken tackles and broken tackles and then broken tackles followed by broken tackles. Got the guy for the touchdown. Man defense. Man defense. <laughs> Another broken tackle. I got conservative tackling on. Another broken tackle. Thank you. Appreciate it. And have him actually continue to go in motion. If I had switched to that guy, he would have stopped. Happens every time. And I would have not been able to get the get the stop there, get the deflection. Would not have happened. Going forward on a crazy fourth down, because why not? It's not going to hurt anything to try, right? More that happens is I don't get it. Very, really frustrating, actually. Stop route. You're supposed to be in his zone, dudes. Two guys are supposed to be standing there in his zone. Where you all going? Another, another stop route that you're supposed to be standing there on? Another broken tackle. Another broken tackle. <laughs> I want you to look. What does that say? It says conservative, conservative. That means less broken tackles. That's how it's been almost the entirety of the freaking game. What happened? Broken tackle. After broken tackle. After broken tackle. I'm going to sound like a broken daggum record, but broken tackle. Dead gum, dude. So freaking frustrating. Is that a there's the interception. Let's throw it five yards in front of the guy. The one time you're not supposed to lead the guy, you lead him. It even looked like after the play that the dude had caught it. 
So I don't know what the problem was, but whatever. He's like a, a junior or senior quarterback, and he's throwing it 15 yards in front of the guy's freaking face, man. Golly. Now, that way get out there and get the block 75. I appreciate your freaking effort, son. Because I want them to behave correctly. There we go. Three seconds. Let's get at least a field goal. Make us feel good about ourselves. There we go. I meant to hit RB, but I hit X. It's fine. Got the first down anyways. Works out pretty good. Throw in the guy that's got three dudes blanketing him. Let's see what we could do. Got you, boy. About If he had jumped that, I would have lost it. Can you go in motion, please? Can you hack the ball, please? Dump it off the other way where nobody's at. Nice play. Nice spin move, Davis. There you go. A little misdirection, baby. It's not always about what you are doing. It's about what you're thinking about doing. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but sounds good. Oh, look at the blockers out in front. Oh, you didn't even block a 27 Fitzpatrick, whatever your daggum name is. I can't believe that. 27, you still in? No, you're not in. Davis is like, you get on the daggum bench, son. Gosh, man. What is your problem? I even have, I have the scramble to where you're supposed to focus on the quarterback and they still don't do it. Oh, we're going deep. Got him. Okay. And all right. And then I'm off to the races. I mean, I'm going a cover four. Nobody else can catch the dude. Nobody remotely around him. No problems. No problems at all. And then right into hey, 75. What are the odds you get in my daggone way again? It's just one of those games, man. Do everything in my power to get the W. As well as some things to get the L. Because why not? If you're gonna if you're gonna lose it, might as well lose it trying, am I right? Let's see. Is that hop? Got you on the slant, touchdown. There we go. Surprised me in the least. I don't get it, man. Cover three, where you at, dog? Where you at, man? It's all good. I mean, he's been running zone like crazy this game. Or at least a couple of guys in zone. And he gets a lot better results than I do. I somehow beat the zone there. I don't know what I did, but I want to run it again. Let's keep trying. Let's keep swimming, as Dory says. A bit off underneath. Get the block. There we go. I mean, we're putting up some good points. We just can't stop him on defense. Another big pass touchdown. I couldn't get to the outside. Of course, I couldn't get to the outside. I don't understand how you do that. How do you cut back so fast? It's more and more obvious every day. Where are you going, big guy? Why, why is your first step like five yards back? I would like to see the drops, the number of drops I've had this game. Because it would be a surprising amount, at least to me, surprising. By the way, Rettering, good job, buddy. And what keeps this drive going? At least you want to play. Put up the middle and touchdown. Bring it within three. So somehow, I just won the onside kick. I don't know how I did it, but I did it, and I'm happy about it. And I got sacked immediately. All right, last play. Fourth and ten. What can we do? Hit Olsen for the first down as he gets a laid out. We just need to get at least in field goal range. So inside the 25. Let's see. Is that no, it didn't hit Hit the wrong button. Oh, well. Hit, I wanted to hit freaking X, and then I wanted to hit A, and I hit the wrong button. Unfortunate way to lose, man. Just... One simple mistake towards the end that 100% cost you the game, but a lot of mistakes during the game that cost it. Let's look at some of the stats, even though I don't really want to. Lost by three. And I mean, it's another good game. I fought back a long ways, but just not ideal. Not what I wanted, <laughs> not what I wanted at all. Game stats, player stats. Let's look at that. 25, 28, 45, 456 yards, three touchdowns, two picks. Horrible game. Running the ball. Eight attempts, 107 yards. I mean, I ran the ball decent, but I mean, when you're down by 20 at the half, you don't have much of a choice but to but to run it or but to throw it. Look at that, five drops, man. That's ridiculous. I mean, they're all younger guys. I, I get that, but still, five drops, man. That's that's unfortunate. 
Um, he only had three drops. But it is it is what it is. Not exactly what I wanted. Look at the team stats. Um, beat me. I had overall yards. I had more passing yards. We had more rushing yards by far. He ran the ball a lot more than I did as well. Um, but I threw the ball considerably more. Three for seven on four, third down. Not going to win many games, especially against the computer. Huge, huge deciding factor in this game. Uh, the turnovers, the pick towards the end of the other pick. Once again, and my one punt. You need to take, take those back. Completely different ball game. But it was a heck of a game. Um, Sooner Magic, Utah State, solid game. Just like the last time we played. Hopefully I can make my way up to the conference championship. Maybe we can see each other again. A little rematch right now. We're one and one. But we will find out. That's it for this part. We'll be right back with the advance. All right, let's get done showing the highlights against uh, Utah State. Sooner Magic, close game. I mean, 48-45 would have loved to win, but it is what it is. I can honestly say I went through and looked at the schedule a while ago. I've improved with every user game. I mean, I'm 1-3 in, in the user games, but I've improved. Defense, not so much, but offense, most definitely. I'm finally getting into a groove, making some plays, making stuff happen. So I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm not happy about the losses, though. Anyways, let's see how everybody else did this week. Central Michigan ends up winning 57-21. Arkansas State had a bye week. UCF wins 84-7. Eastern Michigan ends up winning 74-38. Boise State had a bye week. Utah State saw that game. Close, close nail biter. Uh, UL Lafayette wins up 70. Wow. Ends up winning 70-28. Ball State wins 46-39. Louisiana Tech wins 34-31. A close game. And SMU wins 31-7. If you want to see the Italian score, links in the description as always. Uh, make sure you go check out his video, see how he did. So we're going to advance it into week seven. We'll be right back. All right, let's get done with the advance. I play Wyoming this week. Yes, sir. In conference. Was this my second game in conference now? I'm finally going to start getting into a lot of uh, conference play. I got this game, another game, and then my last user game until the conference championship if I make it. Just need to win out in conference other than Boise State because they beat me last year as a computer, and now they're a user, and I haven't played them yet. So it's going to be very interesting. Let's see who everybody else plays this week, Central Michigan and Ohio. Arkansas State Army, UCF, and the Italian. Oh, man. This was part of their um, two-game series. One Last year it was at UCF. This year it's at Western Kentucky. So that's going to be an interesting game there. I'm looking forward to seeing how that game turns out. Eastern Michigan and Bowling Green. Boise State, San Jose State. Utah State, Hawaii. UL Lafayette and Georgia Southern. Ball State, Miami of Ohio. Louisiana Tech and Mid-Tennessee State. SMU, Houston. And then... The Italian at Western Kentucky versus UCF. Check out top 25, see what's going on there. I know I'm not ranked. <laughs> I'll be lucky to still be in the top uh, top 50, but look at that. 3, 5, 9, 10, all lost. Would have been a huge week to move up. Sadly, uh, did not happen. <laughs> did not happen at all. So Virginia Tech's now ranked. Utah State uh, moved up a couple of slots. Eastern Michigan, Boise State, those are the top three uh, for the user-wise. Well, I forgot uh, UCF was up there. My bad. Western Kentucky trying to get in there. He's getting pretty close. Did it Did it not highlight UCF? Oh, it did. I skipped right over it. Whoops. My bad, private leader. My bad guy. My honest mistake. It happens. Uh, let's go ahead and check out conference standings. I know I haven't played a whole lot of games in conference, but see where I'm sitting as of right now. I'm sitting great. <laughs> Nevada's only, only, only team in conference has won a game on my side. On the other side... Utah State is undefeated. Boise State undefeated. Is going to get those conference games underway. Um, nobody's in the Pac-12 Sun Belt North. UL Lafayette's got that one on that side. Arkansas State making a, a name for himself. Going to try to take the south side. American over on the east. UCF and the west should be SMU. Oh, Tulsa. Tulsa tearing it up over there. And then we got the Conference USA East. Western Kentucky doing all right. And on the west side, Louisiana Tech. Taking care of business, man. In the MAC, nobody's on the east side. And we got three users on the west side. Central Michigan, Eastern Michigan, Ball State. That's going to come down to who can beat who for that conference. That's for dang sure. Because whoever gets to the conference championship will probably beat the computer no problem. Check out championship continues just to see where everybody's ranked. I mean, mostly for me, 52. Steve, not even in the top 50 anymore. Not really a surprise there. But we got UCF, uh, Utah State. Eastern Michigan, Boise State, Western Kentucky, Central Michigan, SMU, UL Lafayette, Ball State, Louisiana Tech, and then myself. Last but not, oh, Arkansas State. So we're, we're all right there. I mean, we got a couple of guys in the 40s and then us two in the 50s. So 
we're, we're creeping up. We're doing all right, but I've gotten through the bulk of my user games. I just have one more left. So hopefully I can make a run for it towards the end of the season. But anyways, that's going to be it for this part, uh, for this episode, actually. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. I want to give a huge shout out to everybody that supported me via Patreon. Um, it's not required or anything like that. I don't really advertise it or anything. But as a special thank you for the people that have donated, um, this is just a little credit section that's going to run at the end of every video. So hope you guys enjoy, and thank you once again for the support. It means a lot to, to my family and I. Um, helps helps me continue to do this because this is just a part-time like hobby for me. And uh, it takes away from family time outside of my 9 to 5 job. So I appreciate it. Each and every person who watches my videos as well as supports it. As well as the people that are supporting via Patreon. It really means a lot. So thank you.